Hey, let's get ready to go to Thanksgiving dinner at my friend's house. Now, keep in mind, I don't use all the makeup that I use whenever I do my videos. Um, I don't use all this makeup every day. I just do it to kind of make sure I time my videos so I can keep on talking. So <clears throat> today, it's Thanksgiving. And we're all going to be around a lot of yummy, yummy foods. So I've already talked to y'all once about this. Um, about, you know, eat before you go. Eat something before you go. Don't let yourself be hungry. Because if you're hungry, super like when I say hunger, I mean, you know, don't skip breakfast. Don't don't skip uh, lunch if you're eating supper. Don't skip your previous meals. <clears throat> I remember in the olden days, people I would skip a meal so that way I could eat more. And it's like, well, that's just kind of silly because it's all except for the clean ham. Now I say ham. You know, majority of people that I grew up knowing, when they cooked ham, that ham had sugar, brown sugar, all kinds of stuff in it. So it wasn't clean ham. But but if you if your friends and family cook clean ham and clean um, and and turkey, clean turkey, then then by all means load up on both of them. But um, anyway, but you don't want to go somewhere that's going to have all the foods and be hungry because then you're setting yourself up to overeat the bad things if you're starving to death so eat a little something this morning or this afternoon before you go and um and you know that way you're not starving marvin when you get there um and you know just be prepared mentally be prepared for people to say oh wow you've lost weight what are you doing and then be prepared to say don't say oh i'm doing keto low carb whenever a family member is around that you only see once a year don't say that unless you know that they're not going to be all judgy judgy but a lot of people are judgy judgy Oh, I read that keto is bad for you. Oh, you shouldn't do keto. Don't eat keto. Oh, my goodness. You know, so you got to be ready for all those comments. You also got to be ready for the, the people who don't understand how to eat properly. Whenever they say, oh, well, that's a lot of meat on your plate. You know, you got to be ready for those kind of question, comments and, and questions and stuff. So... So just, just kind of get in the right frame of mind to prepare for that stuff and just have answers ready. Just, oh, that's a lot of meat on your plate. Yeah, you know, I just found out that I've got some food allergies. And uh, so, you know, right now I'm on an elimination diet, just trying to see if we can figure out exactly what food it is I'm allergic to. Simple, easy peasy. Um, somebody says... <clears throat> Oh, honey, you need to eat this pie. I worked all, I slaved over my stove all day for it. Oh, aunt so-and-so, I'm really sorry. That looks delicious. I just can't. I am so full. Period. I'll get some later. Period. That's it. That's all you got to say. Or, uh, let's see, what else do people say? Oh, honey, you've lost a weight, a lot of weight. What, what are you doing? Well, like I said, if they don't know your keto, now ain't the time to tell them. Because then you're going to get all those questions. You just say, you know what? I've been trying to, I've gotten rid of a lot of processed foods out of my diet. See, it's been working pretty well. Period. You know, we don't have to go into a whole big, long explanation of what we're doing. If it's somebody we are not around all the time. Now, if it's our, you know, direct family who, who know what you're doing then that's okay you know like my I, whenever like today whenever i go eat my friend and her family all know that i'm that i'm low carb and um because they've watched me go from 340 pounds to, to now 160 pounds they've watched the process and to be honest we've known each other since first grade my friend and i we were we weren't really friends we were in the same grade our class had 30 some odd people but we weren't like best friends when we were little, 
But it's like once we hit junior high and we matured a little bit and I stopped being so much of a bully, um, I really grew to like her. <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, but her and her family, you know, they know that, that I've been doing keto and that I did carnivore. And so um, it's not a shock to them. But if you're around people who don't know, don't, don't, just don't, don't say it. Hang on, I'll move my thing. Don't say what you're doing. Don't, don't go into details because you're just setting yourself up for 5011 questions. And then, and then those high anxiety moments of whenever you have to defend what you're doing. I would like to defend what I'm doing to people who haven't really been around me. Because, you know, once you start saying, oh, I'm doing carnivore or oh, I'm doing keto, then that's whenever all the, all the non dietitian dietitians come out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that can't be good. I heard that's bad for your kidneys. I heard that that's, <clears throat> um, you know, that that's just a fad diet. And I heard that eating that much protein can do this or that eating that much fat can do that. You know, all the, all the homeschooled dietitians, all the internet, Yahoo, Google dietitians, that's when they come out, is whenever you say something that, that they think they know something about. So just don't tell them. Just, I'm just eating, just eating all whole foods, just focusing on not cutting out the processed foods. Seems to be working so far. And they say, oh, well, what's whole processed foods? Well, a lot of meat or, uh, you know, some meat. Uh, veggies, you know, stuff that our great-grandparents ate. Leave it at that. Because our great-grandparents were not eating things off the shelf stable box except for flour and what else? Flour, beans, but those were de dehydrated beans. So those were the things that our ancestors were ate, eating. Not frozen pizza and not... Um, not um, <clears throat> boxed family dinners. They weren't eating that stuff. And so, you know, you can say, oh yeah, I'm just trying to keep ingredients to five or five or less. You know what I mean? That's something simple. And that's not something that they can come back with a very judgmental statement. So remember those things. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to eat a little more, uh, a little more clean. That's, that's a good answer right there. And, oh, well, what's that mean? Oh, well, just try to cut back on the boxed food, processed food. That, that's it. That's all you got to say. So, <clears throat> like I said, just, and also, most importantly about today, the most important thing, it's one day. It's one day. So, if you, or or tomorrow, or whatever. So, if you're going to somebody's house today, and not tomorrow, and the next day, it's one day, one meal. One I know, I know some of y'all have multiple families you're going to, but that time is one time. After it's over, it's over. This is not permission for you to go on a binge. I'm telling this to the old Terry. This is not permission to go on a binge. This is not permission to go eat, go eat all the things that you haven't eaten in the past six months, a year and a half, four years. This is not permission to just go eat all the things. So <clears throat> after today or after tomorrow, after whatever your meal is, this is not permission for you to go get, go backtrack. You're not needing, you don't backtrack guys. Not this time. Last year, sure. The year before that, okay. This year, no, this is the year we do not backtrack. We do not go eat all the things after this is over. On our drive home, we do not stop at McDonald's and get a shake. We do not stop and get that holiday pie that's at McDonald's. We do not run into Schnucks and buy a big old tub of ice cream because we've been missing it. And well, we messed up anyway. No, you didn't mess up. You made the decision to eat off plan for one meal. One special meal. One special meal. One day. So... This is not, this is not your gateway time. This is not your gateway to backslide, okay? It's just one thing, one meal. My neighbor's outside. So <clears throat> this is not your, you know, for those of us who know that food is a drug, like for people like me who food became a drug, this is not our gateway to 
go go back backslide. I want to go through the detox again. Somebody asked in my comments what I mean about detox. Well, when I eat off plan and I eat bad food, my body reacts in a very bad way. And so I start getting anxiety. I start getting hungry all day, even like 20, 30 minutes after I eat. And so when I got off of processed foods the first time, I had a two weeks of, of, of detoxing. So I call it detoxing because it's it was it was worse than when I quit smoking because I still had to eat. So <clears throat> we don't want to go through that again. We don't want to go through detox again. Do you want to go through detox again? I know I sure don't. I don't want to detox again. No, thank you. I went through that this week whenever I ate, or last week whenever I ate some stupid stuff. I want to do it again. And you don't need to do it again. So focus when you get there. Fill your plate with meat. Pick a couple veggies and and that's and take some fruit. Take your take your purse apple. Take an apple in your purse and focus on the things you can eat. Don't think, oh gee, I wish I could have some of that green bean casserole. No, you don't. Because you know it's gonna make you feel like trash when you're done. So <clears throat> what you want is to eat that meat and the vegetables that don't have a lot of junk in it. So when you're standing there. And looking at all the spread, you hone in on that meat and you hone in on the vegetables or the fruit or whatever it is that that person cooked or that you took along that you can eat. Laser focus on that and just think to yourself, ha ha, I get to get as much turkey and ham as I want to today or whatever it is your family cooks. I get to have as much of this as I want to today. Focus. It's okay to eat too much. Just eat too much of what you should be eating. Don't eat too much of the things that you know you shouldn't be eating. So, all right. Well, that's what I got to say. Now, I'm going to fix my hair and get ready. And I will see you later. Bye.